Grimdark. Half off. All right, so this Let's Play is both part of an experiment for me and also genuinely me trying to like the game again. At the time of starting this experiment, I have 55 hours on record, almost all of which is PvE related. I am one of the many thousands who was drawn to this game because of the Elder Scrolls part of the title. Blackwood adds no new part of Tamriel as far as I know to the world, so I have not purchased it, and am playing the game filled with every major DLC present, I believe. If I am going to purchase DLC for this specific title, it must add at least some new part of Tamriel for me. I have Morrowind, Somerset, Elsewhere, and Greymoor, along with all the faction DLCs I've owned for a while. I have not played in roughly 10 months, and probably longer than that, if you're asking me about long-term character investment over time. That's probably in the multiple years category. Keep in mind, I bought all of those what feels like years ago now, except for Greymoor, which the uh, last bit of my love for Elder Scrolls went into. On this channel, I recently tried to do a Skyrim Let's Play and just was I, my emotions dropped out of it by just... I was too familiar with the universe, too familiar with the game. I, that's part of the reason I'm playing this now. Those of you who uh, see my Guild Wars 2 stuff and know about my Guild Wars 2 stuff, you know that I, I found Guild Wars 2 because I was looking for something to play instead of ESO because I just got... I, I just Every time I've downloaded this game, I could not get past its starting. And also, you know, this is part of a long series of seeing how the games that used to run terribly on my PC that was old and terrible and shitty run on the new good PC, and I want to see how the new good PC handles ESO, so this is going to be great. Keep in mind, I bought all those what feels like years ago, except for Greymore, which is the last bit of my love, which is what the last bit of my love for Elder Scrolls went into. This brings me to my next point in terms of my mindset when approaching this game. While I will always give writing and world-building props to the epic storytelling love of Howard and the clear cosmicist inspirations of Kirkbride in terms of unique world-building for this universe, its taste has soured for me over time. Angst-driven teenage and, to some degree, early 20s me was clearly a, and certainly a big fan of the Klingon orcs, as I would put it, found in Skyrim and in particular that particular incarnation of the universe, the name being given to them by me because before I knew about Oblivion or Morrowind's depiction of them, I considered the Orzheimer of Elder Scrolls to be the most human and mature depiction of orcs I had seen in fantasy. I was also a big fan of the Morrowind setting, as most people are. It basically makes up its own sub-universal genre within the Elder Scrolls universe and is incredibly unique. Its alien setting was truly a beautiful work that is distinctly Elder Scrolls. When you see Morrowind, you know these are not the drow of D&D or the dark elves of Warhammer. These are a unique people all their own. I won't go into what caused the universe to sour for me, as I've covered it in other videos, and this Let's Play is about putting that bad blood behind me and continuing to see if I can truly enjoy not only the world again, but also this specific incarnation of it. As I said, I am no longer approaching this game as an Elder Scrolls fan, but as someone who has authored his own original universal stories and universes in the fantasy genre, I am approaching this as an adult looking for a new perspective on the things I liked as a younger man. I am 25 now and am less of a lore obsessive for this universe. I am more focused on having a good time and exploration along with some good story quests. I'm treating ESO like its own universe within its own internal canon. The big question for my mind for this review, this Let's Play, is can I play this to unwind after a long day as my mini vacation from reality? So, as you can see, we are approaching this with low standards from a casual perspective and giving it a clean slate. To further my steel manning of this game, or at least well, anti-straw manning, it's steel manning, I will correct the major thing I did wrong in it before, which was that I did not take its mechanics seriously and basically tried to make a Skyrim character in ESO. This means that I put one point in health, one point in Magicka, instead of the recommended method of tanks do 64 in health, Magicka DBS do 64 in Magicka, etc., etc. We will be building a tank, which means 64 in health, but also not losing sight of the vision we have for the character's uniqueness we want. Since I won't be putting any points into magic or stamina, I will not be worrying about what abilities use what as I morph them and will more focus on having a good time. Let's see what we can do. Okay. And... Hello everyone, and welcome 
to the Elder Scrolls game that I have detested forever, but can now play on high settings, apparently, so I'm, I'm hoping this will work out for me with the new PC. Uh, you, you, you saw the intro, you know why we're doing this, you know we're, we're gonna be building kind of a tanky fella. And, uh, I'd like to, I'd like to play a Breton. You know, uh, <clears throat> I've been watching a lot of, um, I've been watching a lot of Baki the Grappler recently. And what I'd like to do is create a heroic, sort of a mixture of a knight and a, uh, a warrior. Uh, but from, like, kind of a legendary, of course we have to make him fully muscular make him tall as all nightmarish hell um but yeah we're, we're definitely we're gonna make a dragon knight i was i was in between because i usually for this game whenever i run around in it uh, i've played sorcerer for a little while on a character before when the game was really new i played warden before uh when it first came out i played necromancer when it first came out but i've never really done the dragon knight i always thought dragon knight was generic i, I never thought uh you know let's go no gear let's go no gear i always thought dragon knight was pretty generic but, uh, you know what? I like the idea of a monster hunting warrior who has traveled the world and has slowly, over time, accumulated notes on every single fighting style. You know, you got the Akaviri, you got the, the Tamrielic, all the, the ways of war that exist in the world, and the end result is the Dragon Knight mentality. Absolutely love that. Uh, but I also, as far as a faction goes, I want to hang out with the Daggerfall Covenant if I have to go with one of the three alliances. Uh, the reason we're doing a Breton is also because uh, High King Emmerich is definitely better than Queen Iren, played by Kate, Beck Kate Beckinsale, and the weird simp little brother Oni-chan uh, Scald King Ebonheart Pact. I mean, good lord, when... Uh, I know Ulfric isn't born yet, but good lord, he could just... No, he could curb stomp this weird loser, Scald, whatever. All right. All right, now... Let's go for a face. Yeah, I definitely think, because I'm, I'm kind of basically trying to make a Hanma here, and we're going, yeah, we're going for a face in between angular and heroic. Uh, absolutely. And, oh, yeah, no, wait, no, 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 what we need, probably the most important thing is probably like a tattoo. We can't give him a demon back, but I want to see what we can do with it. I want to see what we can do with it. Body markings. Yes. Okay. Okay, you. Okay. All right, skin color. What would he be? Would he be pale? Would he spend some time in the sun? Let's see. Oh, it's not really much of a difference. Okay, we'll just go with the lightest color because then we can make the tattoo more visible. All right. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, this is a scar. This is more like a burn mark. Eh, burn mark, scar marks. Okay. Now, well, actually, this might be good. Oh, damn it. Ah, ah, there you go. Yeah, this might be good in place of a demon back. There's like a full-on burn mark across his, uh, but it did now across his body. That's not what we're looking for. I want something in reference to Yujiro. I want <laughs> Yujiro Hanma. Uh, no, that's too Yakuza. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Come on. Ah, oh, really? That's it? Okay. Uh, well, something that concentrates energy on the back. That's what I'd like. All right, okay, fine. I can settle for, like, the shoulders and the upper back, but I, I don't know. I just prefer something that's more back-oriented. Like, just a giant back tat. Ah. Wait, why, why does the dragon have two heads? Okay, well, it's two dragons on his body. It, it would make sense, but then that would also be taken as, like, a sign of, like, the... Yeah. Okay. So here's what I think I'll do. I think I'll go with the, mm, let's go over here. Mm -hmm. Right, this. This is the closest thing. Just all of these marks, I like it. I like it, that's fine, this is fine. It's fine. Hand size, I, th I think everything's kind of on point here. I think the only thing is we'd like to make things ridiculous in terms of like when hips small, we want, there's no, there's no lats thing. There's going to torso, chest, uh, gut, super small. This is basically the Yujiro Hanma body type. Waist size, arm size, badoosh. <laughs> uh, yeah, hand size, yep, giant. Uh, giant feet, uh, giant leg. Uh, what, what type of butt? What, what is the butt? Behold, yep, you got the booty. All right. He's got the booty. He's got the big muscles. He's got the booty muscles. This is what's going down. Now, which... 
Ah, it kind of sounds right. Uh, let's go with A. Okay. Maybe. Something a bit more sadistic. Nah. No, no, no. No, no, no. Mm. No. No. Yep, yep, that works. Okay. Hair color, let's see here. Mm. Go with... Uh, I'd say still go with black hair for right now. That's too... Yeah, okay. We'll go with this. And then, uh, as for hairstyle, go with something... Yeah, either something long or something spiky. Maybe something good. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Ah, uh, hmm, hmm. Ah. Ah. No. Alright, go with long then. Go with. Come on. Come on. Where are you? You were just here. There we are. Not even long. And we'll leave the, uh, the facial hair to be clean and then now eye color eye color what should we do with eyes can we have can we have like blazing scary red eyes no we can just have okay fine we'll go black hair brown eyes fine 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 okay this just brr, hello <laughs> but no no now with eye eye size uh one eye size small I said, we, we don't want him to be as human a character as we usually make. We want him to be a power-hungry, bloodthirsty kind of guy. I angle. Okay. Okay, yeah. No, if you go out like that, then what it creates is like... Okay. Um, it, it, I squint. Yes, yes. This sort of <laughs> sort of rage. But where where is the... Uh, okay, eyebrows. Oh, okay. So we can do... We can do anger. Anger is possible. Yes. I will become the strongest. All right. Uh, mouth height, mouth curve. You do mouth curve. Okay, I can. I can do a sadistic smile. All right, lip fullness. Yes, that goes without saying. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Why, hello there. Ah. <laughs> uh. Bucky, you dare think you can surpass me. All right, I like this guy already. I do, I do. Well, actually, you know what? I, I keep thinking, because Dragon Knight is... Because Dragon Knight is one of them that fits the war, warrior mentality, but so is Warden. And I look at Warden, but Warden, I think Baki would be a Warden. Yujiro, who I'm trying to imitate, I definitely think would be... Uh, more of a dragon knight, but let's just for the sake of it. Let's let's go to warden was say wardens are defenders of the green master storytellers who uh, Whose nature tales become magical reality. They wield frost spells against enemies and summon animals so that, that that definitely more fits the imagination fighting style of Baki um, I I'd definitely go with more with dragon knight for for Yujiro Or possibly well, night blades are adventurers and opportunists with a gift for getting in and out of trouble relying on various stealth blades speed night blades Thrive on conflict and misfortune. Threat now. This is not really an, a person obsessed with strength. Uh, sorcerers can use conjuration destruction spells to hurl lightning bolts. Great, too long range. Masters of death. Necromancers call upon corpses to serve as undead thralls. No, no, no. These traveling knights call upon the powers of light, burning sun, to deal massive damage to their enemies, while restoring health and magic and stamina to their allies. Now, I definitely think we're going dragon knight. These skilled master at arms use the ancient Akaviri martial arts tradition, yeah, tradition of battle spirit, and wield fearsome magic that pounds, shatters, and physically alters the world. Very nice. Very nice. All right, so the question now becomes: If we're basing him a bit off of Yujiro Hanma, what is the? Uh, actually, I got the nose wrong. The nose should be a bit more curved and smaller. Hang on, nose, no shape. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, and then nose. Uh, oh, God. No, 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 no. Okay. Look here, you. You're not supposed to be that ugly. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Uh, nose height. Maybe take that down a bit. Then nose width. I'm gonna do that. 
yeah, I, I think that might work. He, he almost looks a bit more... Okay, looks like an even mix between Conan from Conan Exiles and Yujiro Hanma. A little bit from both. A little bit from both. I tried to... <laughs> it's, it's the best I could do. It's the best I could do. All right. Okay. So, now that we based him off of Yujiro Hanma, uh, what would be a good English translation of that name? Hanma, we can basically change... Well, because it's just an English version, right? It's Breton, so what would it be good? What would be good? Well, for this one specifically, obviously, we don't just want to use that sort of Hanma bloodline, but we want him to have an ancient bloodline that causes him to be like a sadistic battle master warrior, because we're making like a tank. So, let's go with... Mm, there's something... Well, okay, so Hanma seems really, uh, re relatively unassuming as a name. It's not really in your face. So, why not go with... Um... Hmm... Hmm. What would be good? What would be good? Uh, hmm. Hearth, heart. Um, let's something, something heart. Silver heart. I mean, silver heart would sound good. Silver heart. It sounds, it sounds a bit too, a bit too storybook. But you know what? Fine. Let's go with silver heart. I'm, I'm feeling silver heart. Uh, silver heart. Okay. So we have silver heart. We have silver heart. And then in addition to silver heart. We will have... What would be his first name? Silverheart. We will have... Okay, now he's sadistic. So Yujiro just comes off as a very sadistic figure. And I'm thinking... Uh, I want I want some type of tale of tricksters in the Celtic or English world. And... Uh, I don't want to do Lucius or like a, a, a an extension of Lucifer... Because my, my go-to, because I'm thinking Hanma, and I'm also thinking of the trickster monkeys that exist in Hinduism. It, well, original trickster monkey, who later becomes the Hindu god of courage. But, it, it, uh, oh, brain, brain, what are you, t you can't even remember it. Hanuman. And then I'm also remembering in, they have several monkey tricksters. It, there are obscure monkey tricksters in the Mediterranean, and they're, they're like Hercules encounters two monkey-tailed brothers who are tricksters, and he has to teach them a lesson about morality. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to think with this guy, I'm trying to think good first name, something along the lines, something. <laughs> How are tricksters represented in the Norse world, and then from there we can take that back. Uh, so tricksters were associated with animals, wolves. Uh, <laughs> I think we would go, yeah, maybe sure with a with a wolf like name. What would be a good? A good name. We have Silverheart. Silverheart's pretty good for a last name. Um, what would be? Oh, he, here's one that might be good. Dragoon. Dragoon. No, no, not Dragoon. Was a Dragon Knight called Dragoon? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What about Tor Tier? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> So difficult. Ah, uh, God. I'm trying to think of a different trickster entity that I could use. Scorpio, Scorpius, Ska, da 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 Let's go with... Ah... Uh, with Yuri. Yuri Besman. It's very Russian. Yuri Silverheart. Yuri Silverheart. And why not Yuri? Sounds like a... It's Russian, but it sounds like a mixture of... A mixture of uh, um, Baki and Yujiro, anyway. Yuri Silverheart, sadistic, psychotic warrior man. All right, so create. All right. And uh, do you want to skip the tutorial? I absolutely want to skip the tutorial. I don't care where they put us because I know the tutorial will turn me off because the latest expansion I have is Greymore and I'm, I'm the, the, the metrosexual vampire that, that they give you to... Uh, to start you off, really, just I'm I'm just like dead inside. By the time I get out, it's just like, oh, okay. Uh, I must go commit murder slide. Okay. Now, I am now level two. I'm, oh, wow. Yeah, this game has never looked this good before. Uh, where am I actually on the map? Is a good question. Uh, am I in the city of Daggerfall? Am I? Where, where am I? I am I in Daggerfall? I feel like I'm in Daggerfall. Map. Map? No, no, no. Map. 
Like, but can you, can you, map, please. Okay. Can I actually go to the real map, please? Why? It's been a while. No, I don't want to go out. I want, I want to... Oh yeah, way rest. Okay, I'm in way rest. Why am I in way rest? What am I doing in way rest? A uh, hooded figure. All oh, right, so you 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 start my main quest. I remember that much at least. All right, so people don't look too bad here. People don't look too bad. Don't look too bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Look at you. You you get the wing two sers arrive. But also angel woman. All right, uh, that's that's cool. You got a scamp. You got a little buddy. He's got a scamp scamp buddy. You little scamp buddy. Uh, and, uh, you know, everybody's running around. They all have their, their little fun going around. That's nice. Um, all right. So, uh, what, what, okay, claim. All right. Yeah, that's not obnoxious. Okay. Okay, health into one, and then we'll, uh, okay, claim. Okay, please leave me alone. All right. Uh, now, let's, <laughs> let's, let's go with, uh, uh, okay, exit, please. Go away. All right, we have this. Uh, sure, take all. Go away. Uh, and, okay, so we know we're putting a bunch of points into health. Yes, thank you. Okay, goodbye. All right. Uh, but then what we also want are skills. Yes, exactly. Yeah, all right. And we also want skills. Okay. So, what we want is something that's indicative of us training. So, what does this do? Lash an enemy with flame. If you strike an okay, but what is the what is the lore behind it? That's that. See, that's the problem. Spiked armor. Okay, so there's one that. So all of this feels like a martial art style thing. All right, so that's what I'd like. I like the idea of ardent flame. Would definitely go well with the thought of this build. And uh, draconic power. Absolutely. We'll just go straight through the dragon knight. Let's let's just see what the dragon knight has to offer. One, 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 one. Okay. Wait a minute. Settings controls. Please tell me I didn't. Hang on. Did I um? Bloom distortion. No, no, no. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in gameplay. Um. Does that? Because I know that um, Steam. Steam basically takes uh. Takes all the previous things you had. Uh, load gamepad defaults, load keyboard defaults. Uh, yes, reset. And then, uh, let's... Uh, hmm. Resume. Okay. Okay, so I can still do that. Wait, did they change this to where I need an enemy to use Lava Whip on? Oh my god, really? Really? Okay. All right. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. You have attribute points to spend. Use these three. Yeah, I'm. I'm aware. I do. I, well, actually, I. I already. I already used them. Go away. Yeah, I know. Enter. Go away. Go. No. Go. No. 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 I, I hate this. Okay. All right. All right. We. We exist. And why do I have? Why do I have this stupid? No. Go away. Just. <sighs> Go away. Just just stop with this. Stop with... I don't know what this is. What is it? At Eldmeri Exiles Great Axe. I feel like that's kind of a joke. All right. Yes, this is what I like. All right, so for some reason, I actually cannot use Lava Whip outside of... That is new to me. That is new to me. Um, but okay. All right. I mean, that's a choice. <laughs> that's a choice, all right. Blah. All right, that's this. This feels. I feel dead inside. Yeah, this works. Okay, cool. All right, sweet. Yeah. Um, it is beautiful in terms of the sunlight and everything. I can I can walk downstairs. You know, frame rate seems to be doing fine, which is great. Um, this game has certainly never run this smooth on my computer before, which is wonderful. Uh, so far the controls seem to be working. So like I can go up to a guy and then it says uh, E talk. Uh, e, e no E. E. How may I serve? Uh, goodbye. Okay, so I can talk to people. That is a form of progress. Okay. 
This is, uh, yes, this is a doggo, which is a Halloween doggo. That is that. Oh, yeah. The reason, the other reason I never went for a, or rather, I'm not going for a build that is based around, oh, God, what, what, what is it? What's, what's this? Okay, well, you have a new reward to be claimed. Wow. Uh-huh. Thanks. Um, I don't know what those are, but thank you. You give me a, a crown lethal poison. I'm... Uh, yeah, I, sh I sure wouldn't want to earn that in-game. That's that... Okay. Um, okay, but this is beautiful. I mean, we got, we got good setting. We have... We have solid... Uh, we have a solid setting. We have just... I, I can't escape to some degree the fact that it feels like I'm I'm just walking around on a turd sandwich in terms of what I'm looking at. I'm not really sure why it feels that way, but I'm I'm just gonna settings. Um, I mean, maybe it's the the interface, maybe it's the UI, right? Maybe it's the size of it. Um, social combat gameplay. Uh, I'm looking for interface and how to turn the interface down or. Nameplate, social combat, uh, video, active display, gamma adjustments, uh, duh, 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 duh. Uh, show additional allies, uh, controls, combat, camera, interactions, add-ons. Apparently, I, I, I okay. Well, there's a add-on user license agreement. Okay, good, cool. Um, Announcements. Log out. No, I don't want to log out yet. It hasn't angered me to that degree. <laughs> uh, all right. So far, I'm just trying to get used to this. So one of the things to, to look at when it comes to the style of... This guy looks freaking amazing. Uh, how, many, how many cash shop options did he have to go through to get that look? That's amazing. Um, <laughs> but... Um, but but when it comes to, to comes to this stuff, I like the starting gear. I like the starting gear. You look very piratey. You look very piratey. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, but uh, when it when it comes to the animation, the art style of this game, uh, I am one of the people who found it very ugly originally, and I, I will say its art style is very much like a recreation of a kind of Hobby Lobby. If you were putting together a tabletop set, that's that's what it feels like to me. It's not terrible. But it, it definitely has its own flair, its own style, and I'm trying my best to not uh, not not get angry at it um, too much. But I also feel like I need a place for my character to start his journey. I mean, actually start it in general. So we don't have anything in our inventory, right? We have zero gold. So what I'd like to do is if we're starting in Wayrest... Where, where should I really begin in Wayrest? And also, if I have a Way Shrine, can I go anywhere else? Where can I go, and where can I start my journey? And that would be, that would be a good way to put it. So, I'm I am a role player. Um, I am a role player, and I am someone who tries to get into character. And I have created this this nice little fella, uh, basically based off of kind of a sadistic, violent <laughs> kind of guy. Uh, he's a bit, bit more, uh, bit more bloodthirsty than most, and yes, exit, okay, and uh, okay. So here is the uh, Kyogolan, Kyogolan village. You know what would be even better though, is uh, knowing where, where the hell I am. So, Arteum, what? Balfoyen. Let's see. So, uh, Black, Blackreach, Blackreach, Blackreach. I guess. Uh, Blackwood Isle. Okay, Black Bleak Rock Isle. Clockwork City. Okay, Blackwood. All right, so that, that I don't have Blackwood. All right, that's fine. All right, so Bleak Rock Isle. I can go to Cold Harbor. I can go to Craglorn. No, I can't go there. Uh, East March. Okay, so East March. Here we go. Glenumbra. Yeah, Daggerfall Way Shrine. Okay, so Daggerfall Way Shrine. So I want I want to I want to go to Daggerfall. I want to go to Daggerfall. This is where I want to start my journey. Because this is, this is, I remember the Daggerfall areas, the High Rock areas, were the things I liked the most about the, um, about the general area originally. You know, I, that's a slime. She has a pet slime. She has a pet, she has a pet slime. Okay. Lore friendly. All right. Um, the, <laughs> okay, so, Draconic Order, and I remember that there is a shrine. 
That's what I remember. There is a shrine over here. And where I want to go is to the shrine. Uh, not the shrine, the chapel. That's where I want to go. So that's where I want to go. I remember that. So this is the city I would always come to the most. This is the only city I have kind of memorized the layout of. I know where everything is. Mage's Guild, Fighter's Guild. Well, I forgot where the Fighter's Guild is. But Mage's Guild, Fighter's Guild, um, Tailors and everything. Uh, the the thing I, I do want to do, I do need to join the Mage's Guild and the Fighter's Guild for the sake of Intimidation and Persuasion checks. Don't cause any trouble. But I think it would just be like the Fighter's Guild Intimidation option. <laughs> because he's just like, hello there. I'm going to sadistically break your arms and legs, throw you off of a cliff, and laugh about it. Uh, you know, for, uh, for whatever, whatever this church is, because this is my most familiar, uh, thing, I, I will, uh, Daggerfall Cathedral, but, but Daggerfall Cathedral to who, is the question. Akatosh on high. Akatosh. First of the eight provides wisdom. All right. He blesses the crown of King Casimir and lends his symbol to the Daggerfall crest. All right, so we'll be a sadist in the name of Akatosh. A sadistic Adric Akatosh worshiper. This is like a total difference from from my is in 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 total difference from my cultist from my Skyrim playthrough. This guy will be uh, someone who is uh, Adric and hyper individualist, as opposed to someone trying to fight for the supremacy of the uh, the Elven uh, the Elven people. Uh, okay, so Code of Malak. By code of by the Code of Malak, I don't need you to guess how many times I've heard that oath made in some dingy tavern. Again and again, some fellow cell swords with too much fire in him has screamed uh, those words at the top of his lungs. I'd be lying if I said the orc strongholds don't take those words as law. There are few places where experience would tell you that tradition and the old ways make for a better fighter, but with orcs, it seems like staying true to your ancestors is the path to victory. Let me state a few uh, steps back. Let me start a few steps back. The orc strongholds have existed as long as the orc race has, at least according to them. Orc strongholds are more than armored camps. They're fortresses. Every man, woman, and child inside the wall is trained from birth to defend them. Uh, and the walls is trained to defend them. All their weapons and armor are smithed right from a uh, right in their str in the stronghold. All the food is hunted down by orc warriors and brought back to be eaten by the orcs who live there. Orcs follow no laws save for their own, an unwritten, call, uh, unwritten set of rules called the Code of Malak. Ah, named after one of their gods, who is sometimes called Malakath. Most of it's pretty simple. Don't steal, don't kill, don't attack people with re without reason, although there seems to be a big list of exceptions. Orcs in a stronghold don't, live, uh, don't have jails for their enemies. They have a blood price. You either pay enough in goods for your crimes, or you bleed enough that the victim is satisfied. And I don't need to tell you that orcs have a lot of blood. The code also sets up who runs the stronghold. The toughest male is usually the chief. He makes decisions and decides when the code of Malak has been satisfied. All the women are either the chief's wives or his daughters, with the exception of the wise woman who handles all spiritual matters and healing needs. Matters of grave dispute are handled with with short but violent fights. Those who don't get along with the chief are usually forced out of the stronghold to live among the rest of us. An orc grows up being told to fight for everything. If someone is not worth... If someone is not worth what? If someone is not worth fighting for, if something is not worth fighting for, it is beneath the code. The orcs in a stronghold don't like strangers used to live on their own like they do. Uh, we know about their homes because so many orcs leave their strongholds to become sellswords or soldiers. And a few points of mead always, a pints of mead always gets them talking about home. I hear that sometimes when an orc makes a non-orc a bloodkin, that person is allowed to live in the stronghold as one of the clan. Of course, I've never seen proof of that actually happening. For all their strange rules and traditions, the Code of Malak does breed a culture of determined warriors. They're focused in the in ways that the average sellsword isn't. They don't hesitate to draw weapons and settle matters openly. 
I think that's the real difference between the stronghold orcs and the city orcs. The law allows you to settle fights through const uh, constables men, through the constables men, but the code of Malak demands you settle your problems yourself. That's a fine way of thinking when you're leading a mercenary life. Okay. And just like that, we became a follower of Malakath despite being a Breton. <laughs> Uh, so that's actually what I'd like to do instead. Um, I would... No, no. Actually, okay. So. We'd be a hyper-individualist, right? And I'm still... My problem is, with my role plays, that my characters are usually either based around a religious identity, especially when it comes to a Daedra or Adra, or they're based around, when it comes to fantasy races, a racial identity, like my Dunmer... Uh, who is, like, obsessed with the uniting and supremacy of all the elven peoples. Man, this reflection is beautiful. These these little shadows here, these are awesome. Um, now, when it comes down to it, I would say that this guy doesn't necessarily believe in any one Daedra or Adra. He is a Dragon Knight, which is something we'll be using. But in addition to that... <laughs> yes, yes, punch. Punch. Punch hard. Yeah. Yes. Um, but in addition to that, I think he's going to be someone who... Um, who probably, what would you say he would be doing? He would probably be someone who's seeking to surpass someone like Meloch or Malakath. You know, the road to Malakath. That's what we'll call him, the road to Malakath. He seeks to, he, he sees the Aedra and Daedra as competitors for his throne. And he wishes to become a better fighter than all of them. And he takes great inspiration from Malakath. That's what I like the idea of. You know, if he, if he grew up in Daggerfall, he grew up in Daggerfall, and he took inspiration from a book he read in the chapel he was next to growing up. Uh, this this is good. This is good. I like this. I like this as our, our little, little roleplay adventure. Okay, so we've decided now. And now that we have decided, let us begin. He would go out into the world, and how would he pursue the world? How would he think of the universe around him? Uh, how would he think of the universe around him? What would he be doing? What would be the first thing he would do? Well, if he's on the journey to be surpassed Malakath, I think the first place he would directly head to is the Fighters Guild to get more and more missions regarding the power of a warrior. And also, so we, from a roleplay perspective, can get the intimidation options, which should never have been locked behind any guilds anyway. But we're, we're going to go we're gonna go get, get them intimidation options in the Fighters Guild. Ah... Uh, how long I've been looking for you. No, I don't, but I do know it's a bad sign that when I have I have like 16 gigabytes of RAM and I'm running this this game on high settings and it still takes you nine years to load in, that's a bad sign, ma'am. That's uh, at a certain point that is not the fault of the consumer. All right, uh, let's let's go into the Fighters Guild. Let us go begin begin the world. All right, now. Where's that help I was promised? I can't deal with this on my own. Hello, all. I will it's been so long since I was in the field. Stephen Bloom. St St Spike Spiegel, I want to join. Welcome to the Fighters Guild. You look like the capable sort. Have you come to answer the Guildmaster's challenge? Challenge? <laughs> that remains to be seen. What challenge do you have to offer me? The worthy crusade of the Fighters Guild. Surely you've heard of it. We have a new Guildmaster and a new singular purpose. Why don't we talk about it for a moment? Sounds good. Let's talk about the Fighters Guild. Ha! I can tell we'll be drawing blades together soon enough. Now, what can I tell you? Hmm. What is this crusade you mentioned? Should be worth my time if you went to the lengths of calling it a holy war. Our new guildmaster is an Argonian named Seize All Colors. She has us all hunting down the Daedra and their dark anchors. You might have seen them already. Enormous chains fall from the sky. Plagues of Daedra boil out to lay waste to the countryside. Daedra would be good warriors to fight against. Uh, let's see. You're not part of the Covenant military, are you? You're not going to try to hold me back with worthless laws. I like the way the Malakath folks do things. The Orcs, that's what they're called. Eh, they like to settle things up close. I want to get a clan fear in a headlock and then snap its fucking neck. We only raise our blades in service to the guild. We are neutral in the war between the three alliances. Some of us follow the Lion Banner and King Emmerich, of course. 
but every race, every creed belongs under the guild hall's roof. That's fair. Tolerance is its own form of strength. However, it is funny that you try for this false morality. You want to use force and violence, then use force and violence. Don't bother me with this garbage. I'm ready to join your little fighter's guild. Just don't moralize all day towards me. Then let me welcome you as an associate of the fighter's guild. Get out there and take the fight to the Daedra. You're in luck too. Sees all colors herself is here, upstairs. She often has tasks for new recruits. Why don't you introduce yourself? Oh, very nice. Alright, so that's fine. Uh, now, if we truly wanted to embrace the, the true gentlemanly qualities of Yujiro Hanma uh, and, and make a lusty Argonian made joke, uh, we could tell Seize All Colors that we are here to collect her. Uh, that's what we could do. Um, but, uh, but we are not doing that. All right. Bookshelf. Uh, yeah, some reading material on these. Daedra. Witch Cults of Northern High Rock by Wafam Wafamil's Maskertate Lorekeeper. Keeper. One of the dozen or so known weird coven scattered across Tamriel, the Beldama Weird, is, a is of a special interest to Imperial researchers. The Beldama are found within the thick forests of central Glenumbra, which are problematic to the explorer due to the broken terrain and heavy vegetation. Precious few have encountered the Beldama Weirasses. Another name for a group of ward sisters or witches. I'm illiterate. That's a part of my character now. I suck at reading these books for a reason. It totally wasn't on purpose. But those who have sp <laughs> speak of dark encampments under the canopy of ancient oak trees and ca uh, cavorting rituals to honor Yuffri and aspect of Yifri, the most venerated god of the Bosmeri deities, the all-female Beldama Weird trace their origin to the time Yifri transformed himself into the first Elnafe, or Earth Bones, and established the laws of nature. While this is obviously mere myth, the Beldama Weird all fiercely believe that they are descendants of the Elnafe. It is uncertain whether the Weiresses should be considered beneficial or malefic, but all agree. They are uncanny and forceful. They see themselves as wardens of the forests with an unwavering reverence for nature. Most Bretons consider them dangerous witches to be placated rather than revered. It is no wonder, then, that the Beldama Weird dwells in the least populated region of High Rock. The Beldama tend to congregate around a mystic, uh, mysterious and reputedly gigantic weird tree, which glows with an unnatural light and looks unlike the any other tree in the northern forests of Tamriel. Should the Empire consider an invasion, threats of deforestation might be a way to cow the local population. Although the Beldama Weird may have unknown magic capa uh, capable of forestalling? forestalling incursion. Okay. Quite the interesting read. All right, then. I was told to come see you about the ability to kill people who think they're better than me. Comrade, we have need of you. Will you fight by our side? I'll fight if you don't get in my way. The Guild has accepted an unusual contract. Mm. We've agreed to eradicate Daedric anchors when they drop from the sky. Wherever they appear, Molag Bal's minions soon follow. What you need to do is use the chains from the Daedric Anchors as a form of weightlifting exercise. <laughs> what would you have me do, as if I would ever follow your orders? Make the suggestion, and then I'll decide whether or not I'll even remotely give it a second thought. As we speak, two of my guardians investigate rumored anchor sites. Merrick and Aleph are the best the guild has to offer. Meet up with them outside of Daggerfall. You can proceed from there. Tell them not to get in my way, and I'll do it. I know you'll change the river's course, comrade. They're investigating the wilds nearby at Riverden Falls. The contract you mentioned, who placed it. I can tell me more about the Daedric. Tell me more about Merrick. Goodbye. All right. So we, w we wouldn't be interested in, in those people. It's always good to go back for a second playthrough and read more, but we, no, our character wouldn't be interested in that. Uh, and also, oh man, okay, so I can't, okay, so I need to get my hands on a, a weapon of some sort. Uh, we do have an axe, but that's not really what this character would go for. Given that we're going to be more of a grappler, I, I would say that we would go for two daggers, probably. Two-daggered tank is what we'll, we'll be making. 
because because burn your statistics in hell. Um, or or like uh, Moreno Stagon's Plane of Oblivion, Adventurer's Almanac First Edition. I'm not reading all that right now. Daggerfall. Okay. All right. So we now have J. Okay. Good. Guild. Good. We have Anchors of Cold Harbor. I will go out into the world and fight my best fight and do my best. Uh, I believe... Okay, so we, all we really have right now is the axe, but that's not that's not roleplay friendly, so we're, we're, we're just going to punch things. We're just going to punch things and hit them with the lava whip. Yes, yes, my vision yes. dreams. Indeed. True. These you people. Are the one my mistress seeks. Uh, please leave me alone. Okay. Now... Let's go to the world. You know, it, it is actually quite beautiful. It really is. To see everything that's going on out here. And then Excuse you have a me, we have a wholesome I, skeleton who loves his dog. And that's that's just loving. That's wonderful. Um What's this? Gateway to Doomchar Plateau. Uh no no thank you. I'm uh I'm currently on a way. On my way to go fight aha. Uh -huh. All right. What's going on here? Merrick, was it? Your boss told me about you. Thanks, Stendar. You're with the guild? Seesaw Colors sent me. If the Divines will it. The Worms caught us off guard, but we made them pay in blood. Did Colors brief you on our contract? What we seek? Yes, yes. Something about a Daedric anchor. I thought it would be a good exercise in my mighty strength. As you say, there won't be an anchor here any time soon, thanks to the two of us. I should be moving. We had word of another cell north of here, near Aldcroft. Where do you want me? Here, if you please. Aleph, stay with our new friend. You two search these bodies. See if you can find anything of note. A pleasure meeting you, oh my comrade. Stop calling me that. Go away, Merrick, and don't get in my way. All right. Ah, oh, let's see here. Dead body. Eh, worm cultist. Take note from Yesen. Hmm. Let's see. A note. Worm cultist. Dwarven gear. The dwarves. Now that would be an interesting group of people to slaughter. Uh, uh, worm cultist again. Molag ball relic. Interesting. Shape of a Daedric Lord's infamous mace. Uh, a cheap imitation of the mace of Molag ball. I thought it was an opportunity to defeat a ghost. Something I've been trying for some time. You're a cat. That vision. A Dramora woman talking about Merrick. Why would she want my hapless companion? Hmm. Who was that? And why did they run away before I could punch them? Aleph has no idea. Whoever she is, she is no friend to the guild or Merrick. Have you considered forcing their head into a downward nodding motion and then pushing back on the head very quickly, causing a snapping effect? It would seem so. <laughs> this one cannot imagine the value of such a thing. Too shiny and dripping with pride. Just the same, we must warn him. And the guild. Aleph will go after Merrick. Return to seize all colors. Tell her what you have seen. Go. Fine. But I damn well better get compensation for you wasting my time. Return to Daggerfall quick as you can, comrade. Seize all colors must be. <sighs> Return to Dag. It's right here. It is right here, you lazy cat. All right. Uh, just a boy and his skeleton and his ball and his skeleton dog, whose skeleton is not a skeleton, but also painted on, who is also a dog, who is also a skeleton. Bouncing his ball, just an innocent skeleton boy. Yes. All right. All right. Now, let's uh, let's go in there. Uh, okay. So far, I'm I'm actually the the art style has already started to grow on me. 
Um, I'm already getting involved in it. Things are already starting in a positive way for me. Um, I've never played the Dragon Knight before, so I'm actually kind of happy to be able to do the, uh, the bam, the fire. <laughs> it's like, do you see, Bucky? This is the power of imagination. This is the demon back. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, as, as you can probably tell, if, if, if you know the anime and manga references I'm making, I've, I've read ahead past, uh, past Son of Ogre. All right. Um, Fighters Guild. Okay. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. So wait, do I have... And this is a good question. Okay, so can I spend... No, I don't have another... Um, I can't spend anything on that. So what I wanted to do is spend on Intimidating Presence because it's like, just shows up, everyone shits themselves. It's... It's him. It's... It's Yuri Silverheart. Uh, okay. Uh, what... No, I don't want to talk to you. You're you're not worth you're not worth my time. All right. All right, you. I've come to collect you. I mean nothing. Back so soon, comrade. Merrick and Elif, the stupid cat, and the other guy. Uh, they kind of sucked at their jobs. We saw a Dramora woman, but she ran away before I could snap her neck. A vision of a Dramora. This clouds the waters. The forces of Molag Baal must know more than we realized. What did she say? She talked about a mortem vivicus, something or other nonsense. It really doesn't matter. We need to find them and snap their necks. Nor do I, comrade. Interesting. Did she say anything else? Hmm. She said she'd take the Red Guard's soul. Ah, uh, such a thing. Ridiculous. The only soul that exists is the one that you fight for. Merrick, this dries my scales. Recruit, you must get to them. Aleph and Merrick are competent, but the Daedra are not to be trusted. Find them near Aldcroft. I will rally our forces here and investigate this Vivicus, whatever it is. Fine, but you're on thin ice with me. You don't have me doing fetch quests when I need to be crushing skulls with my bare hands, breaking legs, and drinking the blood of- Did you just wink at me? That. Yeah. Uh. This conversation is over. <laughs> okay. Alright. Ah. Uh. Daggerfall. Alright, so this is kind of fun. This is good. I'm so far I'm liking the Fighters Guild quests. I'm just doing those. I'm I'm liking getting into character. I'm liking our guy here. He's doing good. He's doing good. He hasn't really been in any fights yet, but uh Boom! I have a feeling he's gonna handle himself quite well. Alright. Okay, where 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 is the thingy? There we go. Good. Ah, uh, there we are, there we are. Okay, so find Merrick and Aleph, and they're going to be over here. I have to get out of the city. You know, this is one thing, though. Folded laundry. There's, you, you need a mod. You need a mod for that in Skyrim. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we have a moving tentacle here. Okay. And... I don't feel so well. Yeah, you're going to die. You're weak. That's the way of nature. <sighs> this is just him constantly rage grunting for power. Uh, as I walk, I have to remember to flex my calves. This is ultimately a form of exercise. Uh, 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 uh. If you ever stop training, you become yes, weak. Yes, yes, my vision dream speaks mm. true. All right. We have the, uh, yeah, okay, so we find them. That's fine. Oh, hang on. Look, I don't, uh... Yeah, can you not with the... Because there's a custom destination. I'm not I'm not sure what exactly I'm supposed to do there, so I, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure... Oh, there, the, never mind. The purple... The, why, why is this here? Why is this even here? What is this? You have a wizard hat, which is cool, I think. Um, so you're, you're Phileas Terminator. Uh, let's see. If I add this to this... And... Oh, sorry. Uh, the impresario can speak with you now. Uh, go on. Uh no. Thank you and have a good day. All right. Uh, this is a deer. I could fight you and win. Yeah, you run. Learn your place. All right. 
Okay. Let's see, we have a water hack a buck a buck do. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's a thing. I like flowers. Flowers are powered. <laughs> Flower power. God. Flowers are the ultimate manly symbol of strength. Especially the pretty pink ones. Ugh. All right, all right. Let's uh, let's get down there. I, I really do. I, I want to unlock uh, a little bit. Draconic power increased to three. That's great and all. Uh, yeah, let's go see what I can do with just my hands. So we got a wolf here. I'm going to take him out. Lava whip. Lava whip. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty cool. All right, not so bad, not so bad. Feeling pretty strong, I'm feeling pretty strong. Got two wolves. Let's see what I can do to two wolves. Two wolves, take him down, take him down. Yeah. 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 Ah, oh, there we are. All right, so we got two wolves. We got two wolves. We're willing to fight. Oh, I was fighting wolves in the desert. What do you want? Bloodthorn cultist. Hey, you. You look like you want to fight. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. You're a tough guy. Ah, <laughs> uh, good. All right, let's, let's head out. Well, look at you. And what are you exactly? Oh, not yet, but soon. Oh, another one, huh? Let's see how well you do. I just broke your friend over there. <laughs> ah, trying to run from me. Now there's your first mistake. You can't escape my demon back. My Daedra back. <laughs> my Daedra back. <laughs> Oh, God. And, uh, the, the whole show that I've... Because I've, I've been... I, I shouldn't say show. I've been watching a YouTube channel that basically has done audios of uh, all the, the manga chapters, especially the uh, the father and son arc. And uh, it's just been wonderful. It really has uh, to, to see the pro wrestler flair they give to all these characters. Because if, if you're not familiar with the show... It really is just people doing inc crazy anime character level shit, but they try to give Normie explanations for it, which is oh, which is always the funny thing. They try to give Normie explanations. There's no supernatural power. It's just fuck you. He's that strong. Oh, I love it. All right. Ah, find Merrick and Ayla. Find Merrick and Aleph. Yes. Yes, I will find Merrick. I oh. <laughs> oh, that's not fun. Oh, okay, I thought someone was going to attack me, but apparently not. Oh, <laughs> hello there, you. I'll fight a million of you, a truckload of you. I'll fight an entire boat's worth of the old Merry Dominion. Sad. Please stop pretending like you're tough, Mr. Doggy. If you were smart, you'd run away now. Come on, then. All right. Okay. Ah, oh, what, what do you want? Okay, never Was that just I, I hit something wrong? All right. Runestone. This is a runestone. Uh, the pinnacle of manliness. <laughs> All right. That's nice, I guess. What I do need to work on, I guess, if I'm going to be a tank in this one, um, really should be the idea of... I guess working on this this is really it does look like a nice game it really does it's quite beautiful and uh, the, the rock texture <laughs> I don't know why I'm taken back by a rock texture it is it is quite nice I, I still so far I'm definitely still liking the dynamic feel of, of Guild Wars 2 uh, I think that Guild Wars 2 ironically learned a lot from the art style of dynamic placement of Skyrim more so than ESO did like I said this entire um, set up to me. Uh, really, <laughs> a real warrior knows not to eat bread. Those are carbohydrates. The Hanma bloodline does not, the, <laughs> the Silverheart bloodline does not believe in carbohydrates. A Red Rook's journal. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not going to read that for right now. This character would not be a uh, an intellectual like uh, Ophis Nizaroth in our Skyrim playthrough. Uh, he just wouldn't be. Okay. Um... All right, so I'm hidden. They can't see me. Uh, where, where? Okay, so I need to get to. Um, I need to get to over there. Uh, all right. 
Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Screw it. Yo. Come on. Come on. Y'all think you're tough. Yeah. Yeah. A solid flame whip technique. You can't even. Yes. The war, the armor. Earth and heart. Dress. <laughs> all right, all right. There we go. It's, uh, it's wonderful. All right. Uh... All right, let's go down here. Doesn't seem like I'm next to anyone or next to anyone that wants to kill me. Fine with this, fine with that. Don't need to run into that trap. Though I will say the traps are well hidden. You, you'd have to, you could still notice them, but if you were not looking at what you were doing, you, it's, it, it's good. I think that's, that's well, that's nice. I like that design. And once I accept this, because, you know, obviously, like, I'm looking at this. This really does look like it's a model that you would get from Hobby Lobby to go on an actual table, you know? But after you sort of understand that... Welcome to the fight, comrade. All right. Out and watch Absolutely. I shall, and you will die, you filthy worm. Come now. To think you're tougher than me. This is the mistake. Wow, these Daedra have been nerfed since the last time I played. I, I think I remember playing this mission and these guys being a lot harder. Come on, you. Come on, then. Come on. You. Come now. A proper flame whip should be nothing for a Daedra. <laughs> Ah, I heard so much about your strength. Oh, I was told they needed help defeating you. What kind of a pathetic organization is the Fighters Guild anyway? See, I would never say this. But he would. Oh, ho, ho. tricky, tricky. Okay, how do I get up though? How do I how do I how do I stand up though? Okay. Boom. Oh, a spine snap. This this is this looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's promising. No. My armor versus your ferocity. Let's see who wins. Probably your ferocity, because I'm a low-level character fighting my first real enemy in the game. <laughs> Probably should have used some type of small utensils or weapon of any kind, instead of being a complete idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I can hit him from here, and I'm out of his range. Okay. All right. Come on, you. Yeah. Taking him out. Merrick ran off after some other Daedra. Get after him. Don't let her take him. I won't. Oh, I mean, uh, you know, whatever. I don't care about you. <laughs> All right. Hmm, flying imp things. You can fight me! You, you look like you can fight. If you have guts, I can rip them out. You're big. You're tiny, actually. You're fairly small. You're a baby, but I wanted to kill you anyway. All right. You know what? Actually, now that I'm out in the world, uh, you know, again, you kind of have to accept that art style that it, it goes for kind of like a, like a hobbyist look you know it really does look like you're on a board you're on a uh, playing a, a really really well thought out modeled D, D campaign is how i would probably describe it and uh okay sweet i actually got it uh boom maple inferno staff of frost that's pretty cool uh but that's that's probably how i would describe it it's it's pretty simple, but it works for what it is. Um, it, I, I know it earlier it might have sounded like I was dissing it. I'm I'm trying to qualify it or classify it. What happened? Where did you go? This is nice. All right. So, what happened? I thought there would be a ghost to fight finally. Dosha, that such a weakling could take one such as Merrick. Where did they go? Also, Merrick must not be that tough if he can be taken by a foolish ghost woman. How would Aleph know? She was behind you. 
Mm, perhaps we wait for your little boss sees all colors. She said she'd f <laughs> said she'd rally the guild. Oh yes, colors, the heroic guildmaster. <laughs> we don't need to wait for colors. You and Aleph are more than smart enough to figure this out. Here, give those items you found on the cultists. Nah. Uh. Who was that failure of a woman, and why haven't I killed her yet? You didn't recognize the tremor from her projection? I think her name is Dosha. Quite full of herself, actually. Hmm. This note mentions an island tower. Aleph wonders if it speaks of Dowerstone. Dowerstone. Dowerstone Vault. An old imperial tower on an island off the coast. Go seek Merrick there. Aleph will find our heroic guildmaster and get additional blades. I'll find him. May good fortune stalk your steps, comrade. Only because there are more fights to be had. <laughs> Jex, I found. What's your story? Goodbye. Yeah, he, he wouldn't care about their story. Um... And even as far as I go in this, this universe and exploration, uh, I like the idea of our character. Giving him a very simple drive, like becoming stronger, uh, is, is pretty good. Um, before I carry through with the Fighters Guild story, I would like to just run around, do some fights, level up a bit. Um, just kind of explore around here a bit. We're in, uh, we're in Daggerfall, which is the only area that I'm really familiar with in the, in the whole game. Because while I've, I've run around in other areas a while, um, Daggerfall really is the, the swamp trees, the very Witcher-like setting. Uh, the the uh, first character I ever made in this whole game, way back in, in, I think, 2014, all the way back in 2014, was an orc with heavy armor, and he was a sorcerer. And I remember just having my scamp and my clan fear and running around and uh, just kicking butt, taking names, and it was, it was a good feeling. For a while, but then I just very quickly drained out on it, and I just, I just, I just, uh, I found myself halfway through. I think it was what was the main story at the time, and then real. I will fight crabs. I will fight crabs. I will fight crabs. Your greed will not defeat SpongeBob today. All right. All right. Now, now the thing about Yujiro Hanma, because we you know, we do have kind of a template for this. Uh, you know, he he was friends with Muhammad Ali. And the reason he claims that he was friends with Muhammad Ali, and the reason he claims that he admired Muhammad Ali, was the, uh, uh, admired the art of Ali, the lifestyle of Ali, is that he, he was like a civil rights guy. So what, what, uh, what he would probably do, he sympathized with him because he stood up for other people. So after a dodge roll, I have increased speed. That's very new to me. I, I don't know when they added that, but that's pretty cool. Is that always the case? All right. Come now, you. Yes. But anyway, I'm thinking we could translate that over here. Basically, we want a world where everyone is free to be the strongest, or free to aspire to be the strongest, void of limitation. So we would probably be pro... I'm not sure if Argonian slavery is a thing in this game, or what that looks like right now. But if Argonian slavery is a thing in this game, we should probably oppose it. Uh, so, I don't know. Going around to maybe Morrowind and killing a lot of people might be a good idea. It might be... Might be fun. Anyway. Ah. That seems good. All right. All right. So I'm going to do some exploring on my own. And I will come back with some thoughts on how I felt about the experience. Playing alone. Uh, just unwinding. Um, just running around because just, just exploration. Just how exploration feels and how it is. Or maybe I'll record it. I don't know. Maybe we should record it. I'll record it. Fine. I'll record us running around. Oh, wait. We're actually at the area that we said we weren't going to go to yet? All right. Yeah, that's fair. All right. We, we have a library of these in us, so every time we look at a lore book, we can go back and read it. Maple cut. Maple. Maple. Cool. And one thing that does attract me to this is that there is a housing system here, so... After I'm done running around on this character, which really is, it's kind of a joke character, right? It's a test character. I put some psychoanalytical uh, aspects to it, but really it was just recreating Yujiro Hanma. 
and uh, as a Breton, Yushiro Hanma as a Breton, which because Akaviri isn't a, a choice. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad in terms of uh, so far running around. I'd still, you know, I, one of the faults of the game, you know, I, I I talk about this a lot. You know, it's hey, it's a game with uh, Argonians, but guess what? There's huh? Okay, there's a ghost. It's a game with Argonians, but there's no underwater. It's a game with Imperials, but you have to pay extra to play them, and it feels like a gross parody of the Elder Scrolls franchise and all the fandom that surrounds it. Anyway, let's go. Comrade. Uh, who, who are you? And why are you wasting my time? Unless you're ready to fight, get out of the way. I am Jofnir Iceblade, former master of the Fighters Guild. Don't interrupt. I cannot speak long. Dosha has taken Merrick beneath the island into the vault. She drains his soul for her master's dark plans. Who? Why are you here? I can't... I can't say. My time grows short. Save Merrick. Stop the Daedra. We're the followers of Morlock Ball. Goodbye. <laughs> Useless. Use muda muda muda. All right. A little bit of Dio Brando in there. Why not? Maybe he'll, maybe he'll become a vampire in his quest for power. Who knows? Um, okay, so are there, is there anyone trying to stop me from getting up here? I feel like I'm walking into a dungeon my character isn't ready for. I don't care, though, because we're just going to delete him if we ever do a long-term play of this. Uh, ooh, great sword. That sounds good. But wait, actually, what's better than a great sword is... Oh, no, sorry. I thought there were two swords behind here. Aha, uh -huh, wait. Are there two swords here? Great sword... Great sword, no. Great sword, great sword, no. Uh, it's a shield. I could take a shield, but I don't necessarily. Well, I come from a long line of knights, right? Okay, so if this character comes from a long line of knights, then we should be okay with a shield and a sword sword, but we there don't seem to be any sword swords. I want to go up here to see if there's sword swords. Pardon me, pardon me, do you have a sword sword? Pardon me. Par oh, yeah, no, I forgot how blocking worked in this game, yeah. Sword, sword, where is a sword, sword? Hey, 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 this feels like Oblivion online. All right. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Swords. Any sword, sword? Nope, no sword, sword. Sad. A sad day indeed. Yeah. See, only a true Silverheart could survive a jump that high. Every character in the game. <laughs> okay. All right, uh... Let's let's just let's get down here and let's let's enter the uh, the world. Why not? I thought I was going to do some exploration, but I'm going to do this instead. Let's let's go in here. Uh, let's. I, I don't uh, feel like I have to put on anything yet. I don't feel like anything's too tough for me yet. Um, but for right now, I'm going to put on the shield and we're gonna. Hey, come on, come on. What? What? Okay, so the shield is only active if I have a. What? So. <laughs> Okay, well, never mind then. I'm not. I'm not wearing anything then. Fine, whatever. We'll just go fight him naked. In fact, you know what? Just you know what? You know what? Boom. Let's go. Let's go take him out. <laughs> you think you're tough? You think you're somebody? The power of my Daedra back will beat the crap out <laughs> my dragon back. That'd be more accurate, right? The dragon back. All right. Who's a dragon knight? All right, what's this? What What is this? What do you want? Oh, your daily reward is ready to be claimed. Yeah, thank you. Okay, well, apparently I have two. Uh, okay, reward claim. Instant clothing research. Cool, thank you. Okay, bye. Okay, you can go away now. Okay, thank you. Okay, wait, was this... This whole thing was... Uh, yeah, commit points. Uh, in this way. Uh... Fighter's Guild. So I do have one to spend. No, I don't have any any to spend here. So World, apparently, I uh, uh, found another one. I don't really care. I just want Intimidating Presence. And then when I unlock Intimidating Presence, then we'll consider shutting it off. But, uh... A pure soul, Dosha. Don't fail me. I'm not a pure soul. Unless purity in your mind is the ability to be true to oneself. In which case, yes, I am a true, pure soul. Yes! Come now, scamp. A weak runt like you. Couldn't possibly hope to take... sound like more more like Bakugo than I do Yujiro Hanma. I'm just letting my weeb flag fly here. All right, now. Yeah, come on, then. Ah. Ah, both of you. You think you're strong. 
actually no. Again, I feel like the entirety of this has been relatively nerfed. I really do. I, I feel like I feel like I feel like this has been made so that I like some nobody like me can do this who hasn't studied the game at all. Ah, oh, come on then. I wanna see what any of you have. Come on, come on. Barrel. Seaweed, I'm taking your se I took your seaweed, therefore I've claimed your souls. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, so there, does, there doesn't appear... I, I will say, though, there is a lot to the design philosophy. I, I don't want to diss the animation too much, because for right now, for me, I'm just looking at this as a product of entertainment. There are people who take real pride in their skill and their ability to play games. I'm not one of those people. I'm really not, but... Uh, but generally... Okay, then. Three on one? I think that's finally a fair fight. <laughs> Come on, then, you punks. <laughs> you think you're stronger than me? Come on, then. All right. I'm Finley, and I love to fight. All right. You there. Doshia, was it? Oh, really? I'm too late. That's not how it looks to me, Doshia. I will consume you as well. <laughs> Highly doubtful. Actually, that's not so doubtful, given the, the realistic implications of our character. Come on, then. Doshia. <laughs> you think you're strong, eh? I take it. Ugh. You believe yourself to be too wow, that really is kind of easy. It it's it really is, and there's no there's no joke. That that's kind of easy, especially for a boss enemy. Um yeah. Boom. You have failed me, Doshin. Yeah, she has. She kinda sucked, doesn't she? Hey, and we finally have an iron sword. Sweet. Oh right. Yeah, no, I'll get to you in a second. Uh but if we finally have an iron sword, what I'd like to do is do dual wielding for this character. If we can get another iron sword here. Uh, burnt crate, uh, we have a stockade here. Um, just, just died in this scary BDSM funhouse. Um, let's, let's, okay, notes on whatever, it's, it's logged over, I'll, I'll, I'll go get it. Bookshelf, got yeah. bookshelf again, okay. Ah. <sighs> All right, so is that that's the only iron sword we found? Uh, okay, fine. For right now, what I want to do with this character, I like punching things, and I like being I like being a shirtless warrior who has just beaten the crap out of these enemies with with no with no weapons, and I just I I feel amazing. I feel freaking great. He looks fucking happy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking sadist, fucking sadist. Yeah. All right, I guess I can rescue you too. She almost had me. Thank you, comrade. You all right? Just need a moment to recover. If you hadn't come along, I'll be fine. Stand our willing. Good. I don't like whiners. Now, as he slaps him across the face, let me tell you something. Getting slaughtered by that kind of a weak little Daedra bitch, when you are my fa- you are seen in my presence, do you have any idea how weak that makes me look, Baki? I mean, Merrick. I heard her communing with the Lord of Lies. Molog Vol is harvesting souls for some dark plot. He's especially interested in the souls of the faithful. What now? Comrade, grab that book and her notes on the table. I saw her scribbling after speaking to her master. We may be able to learn more about this plot. Learn what this Mortum Vivicus is. Grab them, then let's get out of here. Goodbye. Okay, so now we go over here. Go get the documents. Morsum el champ watar gon blay doi ranoro ester. Sel jean fon thersha flo luk era mayanek z car ro cram edersh paz branto bersand alva argue mir ner anav sutiel sons rego chenoza ders tod oserto. Uh, Nugu Nozama Haben, King Clawl Clawson, Wilso Law Form, Fulson Pen Flankis, Eli Ado Adozar, Mon Blower, Blablabla, 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 Blablab
Gray, Nicklard, Fox, Puggin, Jameson, Powell, Bubba Dubba Boo, Spale. Interesting. Very interesting. Wait, there's no way out? I thought there would be like a ladder here or something. Okay. Guess I'm walking out then. Fine with me. I mean, everyone here thinks they're tougher. N Doesn't seem like the scamps really respawned. Did this get changed to like an instance or something? Like what what happened here? Like like when I say instance, like a personal one? That's actually quite interesting. That's an interesting change to the game. I I haven't uh I haven't played in a very long time, honestly. That's, I mean, you know, from the, from the thingy. You know, I, I always do this thing where I try the game once or twice, but then I, I was kind of given up on it. Glen Umbra. Ah. <sighs> See, did I collect any gold from anything? I have 67 gold. That should be enough to use a way shrine. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. We have, uh... Hello, I've come to collect you. You are the sun on my scales, comrade. You've returned Merrick to us. He was captured by a necromancer, follower of Molag Ball. Molag Ball. May he burn in the glare of a thousand suns. It's just like him to send an assassin to kill a noble warrior. That's a coward's weapon. She wanted him for something called the Mortem Victus. We found a uh, journal and some notes. Zeus, the Mortu. What? And I can't make tales or scales of these scribblings. <laughs> no matter. It's going to take time to decipher this scroll, but we'll put our best scribe on it. Is there anything else I can do? You've done a great service for the guild today, comrade. I look forward to drawing steel with you in the future. If we learn anything from the journal, I'll make sure you hear about it. Fair enough. I'll look for you down the river, comrade. You'll hear from us once we've decoded the journal. Goodbye. Don't bother me again until I have the power to kill... Well, don't bother me again until you can provide me with strong enemies to kill. Alright, so we have the ability to level up. I think that's a very good sign. Uh, let's... Let's go to our skills. And that, What the hell? Are you telling me I have to claim them every... Okay. Uh, rawhide guards. I get oh, iron legs because we're, of course, going to be heavily armored. Uh, we're building a tank here. Uh, we'll commit points. And then what we'll do is, we'll, yeah, we'll go here and we can go to Fighter's Guild and we can go to Intimidating Presence and unlock. And just like that, our build is almost fully complete. Uh, let's go back to our inventory and use the iron legs we got in our level up. Where is the iron legs? Armor, iron legs, except... Okay, that doesn't look too bad on us. That doesn't look too bad on us with the boots and everything. Uh, rawhide, something or other of health. Uh, older uh, Shoulders, uh, rawhide, medium, maple shield, uh, legs, high elf. All right, let's, let's go with that. Okay, that doesn't look too bad either, actually, with our, our character the way he wants to look. Uh, iron great sword. We, we would like to go two swords or two axes would probably be better. Can research, can research, interesting. Um, what, what else? What do we do? Jewelry, jewelry, what do we have here? An an okay, cool, health recovery, yeah, absolutely, yeah, except uh, that sounds cool. Uh, what did this do? Maximum health, increases maximum. Well, this is health recovery, so I'm fine with that. Uh, consumables, uh, do, 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 do. Furnishings. This is nice. Actually, this character is kind of growing on me, and I never expected to like, because already, I'm going to tell you this. I'm really... Li I, no, I'm not going to talk to the hooded figure because I don't really care much for the main storyline. I don't. Uh, but I, I might get involved in that later. But, um... But you know what? When it comes right down to it, this, uh... This isn't so bad. This is not so bad. I, I don't hate this. It's not terrible. It's not as bad as I remember. I got very angry at this game for a while, but I, I just did, a, did our first little quest line here. Did a first little quest thingy. Uh, we've kind of completed what we want this character to be. He just doesn't have, like, uh, the, the weapons we want him to have yet. Um, do I want to continue playing a lot tonight? Because I, I only log on here after I'm done with all my stuff for the day. So, let's see. Do I feel like I want to continue playing? I don't have anything else to do today. So, yeah. Let's keep going until we get another dagger or sword. 
that could go in our offhand. Uh, maybe we could go dagger and uh, sword, and maybe that would be uh, be kind of cool. That's kind of like what Samurais did, where they had the uh, where they had the shoto and they had the uh, katana. That would be kind of cool. Uh, or we could do um, two swords, Masashi Miyamoto style, or we could do two daggers, like a skirmisher from Conan Exiles. Uh, I like that. Uh, so, I don't know. It's It seems good. It, the reason I might want to avoid two daggers, two daggers almost seems more like an assassin, but we're doing, like, a tank with two daggers could work, in my mind. It could. Uh, probably there's something better than that, but I'd, I'd want to do more uh, dual wielding. Uh, I'm okay with that. I think dual wielding is, is very versatile. Regardless, um, they look more of a fight. Yeah, okay. Let's let's farm some of these guys who think they're better than me. Let's let's do that. Come on then. Come on then, friend. I can't. We we can't hit each other, and it's annoying both of us. I know. We can't hit each other. It's annoying. I'll be back to fight you after I fight this thing. You, come here. Yes. <laughs> You know, I'm learning how to dodge in here quicker than I'm dodging in, uh... Quicker than I've learned to dodge in Guild Wars 2, I'll say that much. I, for some... Like, I'm less distracted because the world is... Well, I would say this goes for more... Like I said, the, the art style here is very distinct. Is it something that completely blows me away? No, I'd say that Guild Wars 2 still does that better with dynamic placement and does that better with a lot of its uh, art style choices. But... When it comes down to it, this, uh, I, they kept the little Skyrim compass or whatever. Okay, well, I'm just in a mess. I'm in a mess. Okay, they're, they're all gonna kill me. They're gonna take me out. Alright. No, but it still feels like everything is a little, like, cause here's the thing, in, um, I often feel like I could die in, uh, in Guild Wars 2 a lot. Why, why, why can't I hit, why can't I hit him with lava whip? Oh, okay, that's that's just stupid. I need to be targeting him directly. Okay. Oh. Yeah. All right. Uh. Okay. Come on. Come on. All right. Okay. All right. I got a lot of rawhide scraps. I know that that's for crafting and stuff because I played this game a long time ago. Um. Well, this is nice. This is nice. I, I, I'm not... I don't hate my experience. I don't... I don't hate it so far. Um, where do I need to go? Oh, god damn. What? So someone's gonna... Okay. Alright, look. Look here. I'm just trying to... This... This feels... Okay. This isn't bad. I like the way the Dragon Knight handles. It feels nice, especially for a solo player. Um, you know, I'm not feeling like I'm cut off from any content so far. I was able to do, a. Uh, a boss battle, or a, like at least a beginner level boss battle with a solo character, literally without any weapons. Um, then in addition to that, I was able to... So, so far, I'm feeling pretty good. Yes, you. Good. Finally, a worthy opponent. Or actually, no, you look kind of chubby and out of shape, actually. You're, you're not really all that worthy, are you? You, you? you don't go to the gym often. It's... Yeah. Got man tits. All right. Um, but uh, this, this, this feels nice. I don't feel cut off from any content. I feel like it's... I guess I was kind of making a mountain out of a molehill uh, when it came to a lot of me being garbage toward this game. I, I think it, it, it had a lot more to do with my opinions towards the companies, and I think that has a lot to do with my view of really fantasy and my sort of view of the meta narrative between the audience and the creators and providers of material. That, oh, a crocodile. He wouldn't be based off of Yujiro Hanma if he didn't go fight the crocodile. Actually, I'm, I'm really appreciating playing this character because it's really helped me get out of my uh, my usual minion-focused playstyle, which I really like. Um, and again, just because here's the thing. I distinctly remember a long time ago with my big heavily armored orc, I distinctly remember fight, getting brutally killed by crocodiles when I was first playing this game. Okay, so we have a... Uh, are, are we close to, like, a city or something? I don't know, but there's, like, a, a point here. There's, like, a bridge. I don't assume anyone's going to kill us on the bridge. Yeah, unless they are, which won't be fun. All right. All right, no one, no one seems to be killing us on the bridge. But, uh... uh let's see, there's a way shrine order here. This is Aldcroft. Let's go to Aldcroft. 
Old Croft. And I know their their vampires and werewolves are based off of uh, Underworld lore. That's kind of where Elder Scrolls takes a lot of its inspiration, is Underworld. I, I would say that I really love the uh, the mods by N.I. Scion and Skyrim, which change it to be more based off of uh, White Wolf's Vampire the Masquerade, which is more what he was inspired by when creating those overhauls. I really like that, but as far as that goes, when it comes right down to it, that kind of philosophy definitely works really, really well for a character who wants to ascend to greater heights. I could definitely picture our character trying to seek out becoming a vampire or a werewolf, um, you know, because of this. And it's funny, you know, unlike Ophis Nizaroth, he's a hyper-individualist, but they basically have the same goal, which is ascending to great power. Maybe I'm, I'm unlocking a new personal insight. Uh, because of that. Maybe I'm doing that instead, you know. Uh, whatever. I, I'm desperate for self-improvement in my own life, and this is why we are here. That's not the worst thing in the world to learn about yourself. Old Croftway Shrine. Yay! Okay. So, now I'm going to go back to... Oh, right, right, right. Okay, but actually, what, 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 what does my quest look like? So, it's just maid quest? You know what? <sighs> Maybe the main quest isn't the worst thing in the world. I don't know. I might want to... I want to save starting the main quest until I'm absolutely sure this is the character I want to play. So far, I'm having a lot of fun playing him because he has a lot of pizzazz to him. He has a lot of pizzazz that I'm really, really liking. I'm, I'm liking the pizzazz from uh, from good old uh, Yuri Silverheart. Yuri Silverheart seems to know what he's doing with his life. Uh, he knows he wants to become a god king, badass, the strongest in the world. You know, he doesn't want to rule over anyone. He just wants to be the strongest. And uh, that's a good feeling. That's a good mentality to have. That's a good psychopath. Just boom. Hello there. <laughs> All right. Uh, what what are we dealing with here? Worthless crocodiles. I'll teach you to live in my swamp. I'll teach you to come to my swamp. I have a terrible Shrek impression, and also doing the Yujiro voice is kind of kind of wearing on my throat. All right. Let's let's get this guy decked out in some type of weapons. I think it, I I I really do just kind of want to do two daggers for him because there there doesn't seem to be. Do I just have two one-handed weapons? Would be a good way to put it. What was this all? No. Do I just have? No, I don't. <sighs> that sucks. Iron sword was this just iron sword one-handed Argonian. It's not even a cool iron sword. It's going to be... A, well, actually, you know what? The Argonian iron swords do look nice in this game. They're, they remind me a lot. Yeah, like, I love that. I love that. They're like jugglers, uh, jugglers swords, and I like that. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, why not do um, sword and shield for right now? We'll do sword and shield for right now. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Sword and shield for right now. Not terrible. The shields do look like dinner plates, though. They do. They look like kind of slightly bigger than dinner plates, but... That's fine with me. He comes from a bloodline of knights, so not the worst thing in the world, but he wants to become the best there ever was. All right. Ah, uh, my singing is, is dead inside, too. Hello, everyone. Uh, hi, all of you. Yeah, I, I have a thingy. Yeah, look at that. I'm a dragon knight. I, I do dragon knight things. Bye, everyone. <laughs> all right. This is cool. This is cool. I like it. I like it. Uh, you know, this isn't... It's not bad. It's not bad, I think. Um, it's not terrible. I feel like there's... Because one thing that you can't argue that, you know, Elder Scrolls Online did wrong was crafting. When it comes to, like, the, the different styles of crafting you can do and the, each race having their own style. Because, personally, I would say one of my criticisms is that in terms of architecture, when it comes to a lot of these houses, a lot of these various different places, it does often feel like a rather... Okay, sorry. Uh, or rather, it can be very easy to feel like it's cookie cutter. It can be very easy to feel like it's something of a... Um, wow, Old Croft looks nice. But it can be very easy to feel like it's something of a, um, this, I, yeah, you know what, I can get lost in this ambience. I can, I can, this is beautiful, and this is what I'm looking for to some degree from an Elder Scrolls game itself. And that is beautiful. And, uh, this character, this character, he's not exactly, I don't hate him, I think, I think it might stick, it might stick around for a while. This feels really good to me. This feels really nice. Um, you know, it because the hardest part about ESO definitely is getting into the groove of things. There's a sense of false urgency, it, it almost feels like, with everything you do. Where it, it really does feel like you're supposed to be doing this, supposed to be doing that, and without a specific task, 
you feel very lost and very kind of naked and alone in the world. And I never felt that way with Skyrim or Morrowind because those games to me always felt like a vacation. They always felt like a, a game that you could play and you were, I don't know, free to play it. Like it was it was something that you, you didn't feel like you were being pressured into anything. But once you have gotten into those grooves, once you have finally figured out what you want out of life or what you want out of a game, specifically from a roleplay perspective, I think it becomes very easy and very fun to get lost in a character. And especially when you give them a simple motivation, like uh, like our friend Yuri Silverheart here. Yuri Silverheart, very clearly, he wants to become the strongest that there ever was. And that's it. He, he wants to become the greatest warrior ever. And uh, that... That is pretty straightforward, that is pretty powerful, and that is something you can do with your life in terms of this. I, I might make a warden with a similar mentality and eventually have, like, a bear pet. Because I'll be honest, I'm a sucker for nature-themed characters, I really am. I really like the nature-themed characters. And I'd, I'd like the idea of, like, his fighting style being, like, because this, this would be also a Breton, probably. We'd also do another Breton. He'd be the, the Silverheart. Uh, if this is Yuri Silverheart. He would be, uh, what would you say, Boris Silverheart. So he'd be like the Baki if this is the Yujiro. Uh, this is this is fine with me. This is really nice. This is really nice. Let's see, is there, is there a tavern or like a chapel around here? That would be a good thing. Um, what's in here? What's in here? Is it like a tavern or a chapel? Duke's Temporary Command. Um, no. All right, so let's go back to Daggerfall. Let's see if we can find a tavern or something. I want to go look around a tavern. Uh, let's let's see. Where Where's the... Where's the Way Shrine? There's the Way Shrine over there. Okay. This does look nicer. And again, because one of the reasons I've given games such a hard time is that for the longest time, and this was the same thing with Conan Exiles, you know, uh, guys, because uh, for a long time, I was giving Conan Exiles crap because I had a crappy computer and I could not run Conan Exiles. So that's like, <laughs> I was I was doing the, 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 the poor man dismissal. I, I was, even though I, I had the money for, you know, it, it, was, it was that, but... Uh, I don't mean to keep going back to that, but it, it really was the case. That really affected my opinion of these games, and that's not a good thing when you're trying to be objective and you're trying to judge and critique art, and art is important to me. And this is much more ambient, and I think much more of a... It, it's not so relaxing when you see other players. It isn't, because that's not. it's not so much like that's immersion-breaking... Because uh, I heard someone say it's immersion break. Well, no, I mean, look, I could easily accept a bunch of crazy, stupid people doing crazy, stupid stuff in a street. That's something that's normal. That's city life. That's that's living in an urban area. But, um, well, un unless it's like a, a very business-oriented part of that city. But, uh, you know, wackos doing wacko doodle stuff is not, uh, it, it does not take away from my immersion. Um, wackos doing wackadoodle stuff. Uh, <laughs> wackadoodle. All right, um... What, where where is the tavern? Tavern tavern tavern. Where are you? Tavern Daggerfall Outlaw Fighters Guild and Tavern Tavern Tavern. Ta hey Rosy Lion, let's go to the Rosy Lion. I had a wicked night at the Rosy Lion, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you, those know how to party. No literal cats, they're Khajiit. Uh, all right, uh, let's let's go down there. Daggerfall Way Shrine. No, no, no. We don't want to go to the Way Shrine. Uh, there's the Lady. The Lady Stone. Um, let us go to Tavern. I want to find the Tavern. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. All right. We're, we're close. We're close. We're, we're literally right in front of it. Okay. So is this this it? The, uh, we're at the Rosy Lion. This is the Rosy Lion. I feel like this is the Rosy Lion. Is this the Rosy Lion? It's the Rosy Lion. Hello and welcome to Fairy Tale. Okay, no, no, that's that's. Okay. Here we are. Okay. That's not how you sit. Okay. All right. Oh, it's a tiny ratty boy. It's a tiny. Mousy. He's a tiny mousy. Hi there. This looks nice. It does. I'll I can't Yeah. It's it's quite beautiful. Who are you? Well, hello there, stranger. Pull up a chair and sit for a while. I'd love to hear about your adventures. 
I hate that I recognize your voice from every anime, but I can't say... I, yeah. Alright, okay, that's interesting. Okay, again, I'm sitting with my back turned to where I'm supposed to sit. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, could, could, is this still a con... Okay, one of the first things I ever learned in this game. First things I ever learned, all the way back to 42... Alright, so, sit... Chair. Boom. There we go. Sit chair. Amen. Ah. And now I can be happy. All right. Okay. I drink, therefore I brew. <laughs> Just a little brewer humor. Can I get you something wet and wondrous to drink? I like that you love what you do for a living, and if you seek to become the best brewer, then I can respect that. But please understand that under normal circumstances, someone who had an irritated day and heard that joke would most likely violently assault you. We live in a harsh medieval setting. Goodbye. Ah. I'm gonna go upstairs for a little bit. Let's see what's going up here. What's going on in the world? Let's see what people are doing, people things up here. There's more stuff up here, the people doing people things. Okay, that's more people doing people things. Lifts hold the key. All right. Oh, these are great paintings. Oh, I like the paintings. Oh, they're paintings. This is nice. This is nice. Now let's do something totally non uh, out of character. Let's just let's just dance. Dun 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 dun. All right. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, does this still work? Oh, it seems like loot has multiple. Oh, salute. And we have drum. And we have flute. Alright, I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. Okay, this is... I, I'm going to log out here in the Rosie Lion. But so far, I'll say that this has been an A-OK -okay experience for me. Um, this game has certainly come a long way from 2014, where I remember... Well, actually, even before 2014, where I was running around in the beta, and I was just stealing random uh, books for crafting styles out of... Uh, out of different wardrobes and things because stealing wasn't even a thing in this game yet. And uh, I have to say, I'm, I'm, it's it's a nice casual experience. It's not something I feel too bad at yet. Um, I I might come back for a second round if this goes over well on the channel. Uh, it in as as far as it goes. Um, I, I might like to learn more about this game. I'd say Guild Wars 2 is still my primary. I'd say that I still like Guild Wars 2 a little more. I think Guild Wars 2 has a little more work put into it uh, in terms of uh, art, in terms of soul, in terms of what it can provide in terms of a, carth uh, carth a catharsis or a cathartic effect on my life. But I think this could be good for kind of a D&D style adventure um, there, there's something to be said for it because, again, like I said, it has that specific feel. The entire game has that kind of feeling that you'd really... Let, let me just give a, give a little dramatic... Little, 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 yeah, okay. The entire game kind of has this nice little feel of being a... I don't know what you might call it. It's, um, it, it's like a war game. Like if you were buying pieces at a war game and then doing your best to represent that. Warhammer Fantasy is how the, not not really, not in terms of playing the game, but Warhammer Fantasy's art style, even then it's, it's more detailed, but you get the idea, that's how it feels, that you're on a map, and you're very clearly on a map, and you're very clearly on like a game board, and you're very clearly trying to get through that, to play through that, but is it something I could get lost in? And I think what's missing from it is a sense of dynamism, a sense of dynamic beauty, a, a dreamlike quality that is distinctly missing here. And it feels very much like you are playing with figures on a mat. That is how I would describe it. And it does feel like since I've played, this game has gotten significantly easier. I mean, you did just see us get through a lot of enemies that I do distinctly remember killing me when this game first came out. Uh, even when I was at a much higher level, like a level 15 character, 
getting killed by crocodiles. I still remember that distinctly. But, um, but yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, 2021 ESO, not a bad experience. Tell me what you think below. Um, am I too hard on this game? Am I too easy on this game? Well, I, I don't really know what my new view on it is, but, um, all I know is I can now play it without a bunch of stuttering, so that's, that's really great. Anyway, I hope to see you all next time, and have a phenomenal day.